Hi, Steve Hilberg for the Absolute Beginner String Side Up series for Hammer Dulcimer. Now, we know the parts of the instrument, and we know that the box is where we can find the major scales we're looking for, but one of the things that I get asked a lot is, well, where do you play on this instrument? And it's clear that if we're playing in the box, we're playing on the right and the left side of the, remember when we labeled this? the treble bridge. We're playing on both sides, so here would be a place to play, here's a place to play. When we played between the bridges, between the bridges is starting on the bass bridge. We've got these notes over here, and we've got these over here to complete the scale, but we've basically got this side, this side, and this side. But this side is not usually tuned for any particular pitches. In some builders, that bridge is way over here, closer to the nut and closer to the outside rail. This particular builder has moved it in so that the tone can be balanced on the bass notes as well as on the treble notes. And there are some builders who actually do plan and put their bridge on the bass, set up their bass bridge so that some chromatic notes can be present over here in case they don't have them somewhere else. But in this particular builder, those are just interesting sounding other notes that we don't use in our normal playing. So there are three places to play, to the left of the bass bridge and on both sides of the treble bridge. Now one thing to remember, like we said before, this is a right to left instrument. All our low notes are on the lower right side. All our high notes are on the top left. So everything goes in this direction. If you're having a little trouble with your brain while you're trying to read music and play the hammered dulcimer, have no fear. You're having trouble because musical notation in the West reads from left to right. I'm going in the way you would read the music right now, left to right. But the hammered dulcimer, in the way you're looking at it, would go from right to left. When I finally realized that, I've been playing dulcimer for a long time. But I finally realized why I was getting a headache. It's because I was trying to read and force everything that was in the paper going this way to fit on the dulcimer going this way. That's when my dad was right. He always said I had a screw loose. Helps me flip something over in my brain so I can play. Maybe you can have that same problem too. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you next time in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.